Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of calculating a correlation coefficient, specifically using technology, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So I've got the first five states in alphabetical order listed here. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, and then California. And let's say I want to see how closely related the size of the state in square miles is to the population. Does having the largest size always mean you have the largest population? Or are those two variables not related at all? So to do this, we are going to calculate the correlation coefficient. Now let's just look real quick at what this possible range is going to be. All right, so when we are talking correlation coefficient, we'll calculate it using a graphing calculator in just a moment, but let's first interpret it. It's going to show up as r, so it's going to be a variable, and it's going to range from negative 1 to 1. And what happens is, is the closer you get to 0, the weaker or non-existent the correlation is. So right here, if I have a correlation right around 0, there's going to be no correlation. Now, if I get a negative one or a positive one, it's going to be a perfect correlation. So what we have here is we have little markers. I think 0 0.7 and then negative 0 0.7. Okay, So anything between uh, negative 0 0.7 and negative 1 is going to be a strong negative correlation. That means as one goes up, the other goes down strongly. That means they're strongly related. So anything between that 0 0.7 and that 0, that negative 0 0.7 and 0, is going to be a weak. Those are going to be the two different terms that we're really using here, strong and weak. So if our R is between that 0 and positive point, 7, and that's going to be a weak positive. So as one gets bigger, the other one also gets bigger, but it's not a strong relationship. That comes when you get it between positive 0 0.7 and 1. And so that's how we're going to interpret our R. Now how we calculate the R, that's where we're going to need a graphing calculator. So first thing we need to do on this graph calculator is make sure we have the diagnostic mode on. We're going to hit second and then zero. That's going to bring up the catalog. We're going to scroll all the way down to make sure we get diagnostic on. And then we're going to hit enter to make sure it is activated. There we go. Diagnostic on. There we go. All right. So now we're going to hit the stat button here. And we're going to hit edit. We're going to enter our variables. So we're going to put our size going down in L1. And we're going to put our population going down in L2. All right, so we've entered the size and the population of these first five states. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get back into our stat. And we're going to actually shift over. So it starts with the edit. That's where we put our information in. We're actually going to hit the right arrow, get into the calc. We're going to hit that fourth option right there, that linear regression. This is going to calculate the correlation here. And if we had put them in different lists like L3 or L4, we can change that here. But we didn't. We put our information in L1. We're going to hit that calculate button. There's the linear regression. Now, we're looking right down at the very bottom, that R. And we actually have a negative point. Two. So let's see what that means, negative 0.2. So we have the R value of negative 0.2, which means we have a weak negative correlation, right? That's going to fall right around there. You might be thinking, why would we have a weak negative? You would think it'd be a positive. Well, it's because I threw in California. Look at the size, right? Look at the size compared to the population, 39 million. Whereas look at Alaska, look how big that is, 665,000, but look how tiny that population is. If you have these two in a set, it's not gonna show a good correlation. You'd need to include all the states, then you'd get a weak positive. 